Peace family. Welcome back to our credit healing channel. So today we're going to be talking about how you can avoid missing payments for either your mortgage or your credit cards. Now, first, we're going to start with the mortgage. So for those of you who have a mortgage or mortgages, if you are struggling to make your payments, there are actually ways that you can get around this. The primary way is putting your mortgage into forbearance. Now, will this hurt your credit scores? No, this will not. Now, what is going to happen is once you call your mortgage lender and you let them know that you would like to put your uh, mortgage in forbearance, they're going to find out a little more information. And then from there, you can actually halt your payments after your payments uh, have basically halted and it could be up to one year. But once it continues and they're going to call you and they're going to decide uh, whether or not um, you know, you are eligible for you to be able to continue uh, with the forbearance or if you can start to make your payments. Now, when that happens, they're going to have various options. One option is basically for you to make um, a lump sum payment to catch up with your payments that you have missed or that you did not make during that particular forbearance period. Or what you can do is you can tell them that you don't want to make the lump sum payment so you would rather just for them to tack on the payments um, during the, pro, the protracted period of time that your mortgage is in existence. And then that would just tack on more monthly payment to your mortgage. So say for instance, if your mortgage is $900, then if you tell them that, okay, well, I do want to tack on this or add on 12 more months, give or take, um, to the particular mortgage so I can catch up with those payments on the back end. So therefore your payments would be like 1250, $1275, something like that. So this is one easy way that you can uh, basically avoid uh, missing payments. Now in this particular time period, I will highly suggest that you get your finances in order. So while your mortgage is in forbearance, um, what you can do is you can either uh, use that money to try to invest in your business, invest in something, but you have to be able to be smart and strategic about how you're going to go about um, executing this plan because you can not make the payment for your mortgage for that time period and then invest that money somewhere else. And then hopefully you get a return back. And once you get that return back, then you can uh, go ahead and pay off the rest of your mortgage or do whatever you need to do with your finances. Now, the second thing is a credit card. Now, most of us have credit cards. Um, if we don't have, you know, a credit card with a high limit, we may have a secured credit card, which may be $300 to $500, give or take. So um, for you to basically be able to avoid missing payments for your credit card, I would highly suggest that you call your bank and you let your bank know that you are going to um, basically not be able to make a payment for that month or for the next two months for whatever reason. Do not allow your credit card to go uh, to basically go into derogatory status by just missing the payments. It's really unnecessary. Call your bank. They will work with you, especially if you are a good customer and you have not been giving them any problems in the past, then they'll work with you. So what I would suggest you do is to call your bank and let them know that you are not able to make your payments. And when that happens, they're going to just work with you and they're going to let you know, well, these are the various options. And you select one of those options um, to basically not make the payments. And then once that time period is over, start making your payments for your credit cards. You don't want to miss any payments on any of your credit uh, reports or, or files because that's going to damage your credit scores and you don't want that to happen because that's going to cause you to be denied for future lending. All right, fam. So I'm happy to have discussed this with you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at contact at credit And if you're ready to get started and you want to start building and healing your credit, go to www.credithealing.org. Peace.